awe. Imagine heaven. Think of the most joyful moment that has graced your life and magnify that by one billion. Still, that precious flash in time cannot compare to the smallest touches of paradise. Once there, you feel so blessedly peaceful and happy that all you can do is smile, all you can do is laugh. Imagine your every sadness erased, your every expectation exceeded, your every request answered, your every wish happening. Jesus, Mary, and all of the saints who have gone before you are there, those you studied in life and others you are encountering for the very first time. Surrounding you in rapture are myriads of souls you have loved and who have loved you. Together with them and a cloud of angels and archangels, you fly through the eternal kingdom admiring God's wonders, and you come to understand the jubilation of the Father in his work of creation. Envision every good thing you've ever treasured available at your fingertips. Fancy every man, woman, child, and animal loving you dearly. Contemplate living healthy and happy for a million years. Imagine everything you taste dazzling your palate, everything you touch delighting your skin, everything you see leaving you intoxicated with awe. Ponder knowing everything and nothing but love. This harmony with self, others, the world is gone. Picture life like that, then a million times greater than that, and you still cannot conceive of the magnitude of the eternal glory. Visualize a never-ending multiplication of that, and you still cannot see the joys of paradise. Each soul in heaven mirrors God's immeasurable love, and so when you and an inhabitant of heaven look upon each other, you are ravished by the Holy Spirit and lifted up in ecstasy even more. Just when you believe you have attained all the joy your soul could desire, the Father fills you with more. You become a dazzling light burning ever more brightly. You come to understand that this will never end. It will only grow. As the Father has an endless supply of love that he delights in sharing, as you take hands with your companion saints and gaze upon the splendor of the Almighty, your spirit explodes like a firework of ecstasy. As the light from your spirit is caressed by those around you, every soul and spirit unite to become one with God, and then you feel what you never thought possible. United within the beatif beatific vision, one with the glorious Trinity, you feel all the love and eternity entering into you. You feel and see all the good things that have transpired since time began. You become part of it all and one with every loving thought or action shared across mankind and among angels. You melt into every breath of love there ever was, is, or will be. And then you understand what heaven truly is. This is our last reflection um, before the consecration. And there's one more reading here. Listen, this is from our Blessed Mother. Listen, put it into your heart, my dearest one, that the thing that disturbs you, the thing that afflicts you is nothing. Do not let your countenance, your heart be disturbed. Do not fear any sickness, nor anything that is sharp or hurtful. Am I not here, I, who am your mother? Are you not under my shadow and protection? Am I not the source of your joy? Are you not in the hollow of my mantle, in the crossing of my arms? Do you need anything more? So beautiful. And there's one last thing, and this one comes from the journal. One very last part that I'd like to share with you. The last paragraph from today's journal reading, it goes, If you remember that you're standing in eternity right now, in the awesome presence of God, you will know how to live each moment of your life. So awesome. Thanks uh, for being with me throughout this consecration preparation.